Today we're going to be taking a look at the High Standard Sentinel. The Sentinel is a 9-shot 22 caliber revolver designed around a lightweight alloy frame. It features a carbon steel barrel, a single stroke multiple ejection swing out counterboard cylinder, fixed target sights, and a serrated non-slip trigger. This one is a Sentinel Deluxe R107 with a 4-inch barrel. Several other barrel lengths were available on these pistols. Occasionally you'll run across one with a 2 and 3 8 3 inch, 5 inch, or sometimes even a 6 inch barrel. The grips are diamond checkered and feel pretty natural in the hand. The pistol actually has excellent pointability characteristics. The Sentinel Deluxe was also offered in a nickel finish with white grips. For some reason these models are really difficult to find these days. If I ever do run across a nice example with a nickel finish, I already know I'll probably add it to my collection. Unlike a lot of double action revolvers, there is no cylinder thumb release on the Sentinel. To release the cylinder, a forward pull on the cylinder rod releases the crane allowing the cylinder to swing out for loading and unloading. The Sentinel has an extended forcing cone that virtually eliminates lead shaving as the bullet enters the barrel. I really hate it when a revolver spits hot debris out the side when I'm standing next to another revolver shooter. Some of the current production revolver manufacturers could actually learn a thing or two from these older high standard designs. Even after thousands of rounds, the cylinder lockup on this pistol is still rock solid. A real testament to high standards quality, even in one of their less expensive handguns. The Sentinel has no drop bar or hammer safety. For safety reasons, the hammer should always be resting on an empty chamber while being carried, just like any of the older traditional style revolvers. Sears Roebuck at one time happened to own quite a bit of high standard stock and they wanted a low cost kit or tackle box revolver to sell under the J.C. Higgins brand. A lot of Sentinels were stamped and sold by Sears as the J.C. Higgins Model 88. A number of private label versions of the Sentinel were also made by Western Auto and uh, Amerimex in Mexico. In 1958, a line of Western style revolvers was spun off the Sentinel design. The first model was called the High Standard Double Nine. It was also sold by Sears as the J.C. Higgins Ranger Model 90. These were as popular, if not more so, than the Sentinel line. The Sentinel's design has obviously been around the block a few times, but it's always popped up as a really sweet shooting little pistol. This one's taken care of more than its fair share of barn and garden pests over the years. Pretty versatile since it will shoot the 22 short long or long rifle cartridges equally well. The Sentinel's lightweight 22 ounces make it a really neat little backpack or camp pistol and of course it's a fine little plinking gun just to tote around in snake country. Although no longer produced, occasionally you'll run across a Sentinel down at a pawn shop or see one listed for sale someplace, usually at a bargain price. If the price is right, snag it. They're a dandy little pistol just to have around. <laughs> 